Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WooCommerce Team Development. In the previous video we learned about how to set up the theme with Tailwind CSS and in this video we will register the header in the footer menu and then we'll display them. Since this is an advanced WooCommerce theme development we will keep our focus on that so I want be going into the details of the basics like setting up header menu and footer menu etc but we will just keep a focus mainly on the WooCommerce so I'll show you how it is done but if you are a beginner and if you want to have in-depth knowledge for the basics then you can just go to advanced WordPress theme development uh, which is at this one and then this is going to give you all the information from scratch uh, about adding header footer and all the basic stuff okay all right so, so let's continue so what we're going to do first is we will create a directory called classes and then inside of this we will create a class and we'll name it as class advanced woocommerce theme okay in fact let's give it a name as menus so this will be class advanced WooCommerce theme menus. I'm going to copy this class. All the code for this will be available uh, on the GitHub repo, which will be advanced WooCommerce themes. You can take it from there, but uh, I'm just going to make some updates. So this is going to be register menu, advanced WooCommerce theme. And then let's get rid of that. We are not really using singleton and namespaces. So get. Um, I want to keep this basic. Uh, so that we can keep our focus on the WooCommerce rather than going into singleton approach and, and more advanced stuff. Okay, so this class name would be advanced WooCommerce WooCommerce theme menus. Okay, so this is the class and then this is where we're going to register the menu so we're going to call the register menu menu function i'm just going to rename this to and then our text domain is advanced woocommerce theme so i'm just going to use that this is the text domain oops this is the text domain and then the location would be we can name it as awt for advanced woocommerce theme AWT header menu, AWT footer menu, and this is going to register the two menus, and then we are calling it on the init hook, which is this one, and this is going to call this function, which is going to register the two menus. Okay, I also have some of the other functions over here uh, to get the menu ID. You can check it out, and this this function will be for getting the child menu. So I'll leave that there, and then we'll go back to our functions.php, and then we're just going to include this okay so we'll say what we're going to do is we'll take this constant from here which is awdir path okay which is going to get us the uh, file path up until the root of our project which is the advanced woocommerce theme and then we'll come over here we'll say require once and then we'll put this constant so it give us gives us the path up until the root of the project and then dot and slash so our classes inside of the classes directory I'll put that there and then I'll also put the file name here okay and we'll update this to public function yep and then call and then we're going to instantiate this particular class over here I'll say new like so now if you go back to the back end and I go to appearance there you go you can see that you've got menus here so there you go you can see that you've got header menu and the footer menu and all we're going to do now is just create a header menu create a menu okay and then we're going to do a footer menu make sure this is checked for the header menu and then we'll create another and then we're also going to click on manage location edit and we're going to add some of these pages we'll worry about updating the pages later but let's just add it for now uh, save menu and then create another menu so you'll click on click on the create menu and then photo menu 
let's select the footer menu click on create menu and also add some of the pages so I'm going to add them to the menu and save menus you've got two menus available brilliant next thing you want to do is basically go ahead and add the header so we're going to create a directory we'll name it as template and we'll name it as template parts and inside of this we'll create another another directory called header and inside of header I'm going to create a file called nav.php so I'll say nav navigation header navigation okay add package advanced WooCommerce theme and then over here we are going to I'm just going to go ahead and paste the HTML markup and then we're going to use our navigation menu to make it dynamic okay so again this code will be available to you in this uh, repo so you can take it from there if you want so I'm just going to paste that here okay I'm just going to organize it a little bit and then this is our menu so now if I go back to the header.php and if I go ahead and I say get template part header nav and then we also have to prefix it with template parts so this is the part template parts header and then nav.php so it's the nav and then if I go ahead and refresh there you go congratulations you can see that you've got your menu but of course uh, it's not dynamic yet so you need to make it dynamic right all right the next thing we want to do is just make this menu dynamic so I'm going to I'm going to grab some code from here so I'll go to so I'll go to template parts and then header then nav.php and then I've got some of the uh, information available here we could do is going back to our functions.php we can call instead of calling it here we can call it uh, inside of our nav and then we're gonna say theme menu equals this and then we just need to call the get menu ID function or I can just name it as menu class actually so we can say menu class and then I'm just going to copy this again so with this menu class we're going to get the get the menu ID and remember that here is our get menu ID and we want the location so what's the location for the header it's AWT header menu so I'm going to get past that here and then we're going to call this function WP get nav menu items and just pass the header menu ID and it's going to give us the header menu so let's print it out so let's print it out print r header menus and then echo pre tag and let's go back refresh there you go you can see that we're actually getting the menus so you've got nav menu item you've got events you've got contact so you've got like four items in the menu which is great so you've got the array of menu items which is great okay now we just need to loop through it so how do we do that well first of all we need to replace uh, the title that we are getting over here and this stuff first so what I'm gonna do is put that there just organize this a little bit and this is going to be echo echo home URL so it's gonna get me the home URL if I refresh there you go this is the home URL and the, this this should ideally be the title and then over here you'll say get blog info name and then display okay and then also you need to do echo get blog info and now if you go to customize and if you go over here you can see that this is a site title 
is already being displayed over here, right? Which is great. Perfect. Uh, now, if you do an inspect element, this is the site title and this is the URL. And let me just change it to advanced WooCommerce theme. Okay. And we also need the tagline. So for that, we can have P tag and inside of which we can do blog info and then description. Oops. Blog info and description, which is here. And now if you go back, if you refresh, there you go, that's the tagline. Of course, I have to use a uh, I need to wrap this inside of a div. Can make this a B tag as well. Okay. There you go. So you've got the tagline and you've got the um, title and you also need the logo, right? So the first of all, what we need to do is we need to register some of the functionalities, some of the basic theme supports. So what I'm gonna do is I'll head over to the, I'll go to includes classes and then theme. This is where we are, this is where we are adding support. So for that, we'll create another class and we'll name it as class advanced WooCommerce theme itself. Okay. And then I'm just going to copy this entire class from here. Again, the code will be available. So you can take it from there. And let's just replace Aquilof with advanced WooCommerce theme. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of the namespace and singleton here, and I'm just gonna name it as advanced commerce theme. Okay, let's get rid of singleton. Let's remove protected, get public, and I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. Okay, so this is going to set up the theme for us. Uh, inside of the setup theme, we are adding theme support for title tag. You can read about all of this here. And then we are adding support for the custom logo, adding support for the custom background, adding support for the post thumbnails here, the post formats, um, adding the image size for the featured image over here, uh, adding support for customized selective refresh, for automatic feed links, to switch default code markup for search form common form, etc. Uh, we're adding theme support for WP block styles, uh, for align wide here, adding support for editor styles. And then we also going to add the editor style for editor.css. We haven't added that yet. Let me check if we've added that already. We haven't, let me just go ahead and do that. This will basically be for Gutenberg and stuff. So I'm just going to create a file called editor.scss. I'm just going to ensure that I include that in the webpack as well. So I'm going to say that editor, editor.js, and I'm going to create another JavaScript file and I'll name it as editor.js editor and then I'm just going to import that file sas and then editor.scs is currently we don't have anything inside of this just put a comment to be added for editor and then if you just run the webpack so if you come over here and go to assets and do npm run build or even npm run dev you'll notice that it's going to create uh, that editor.css file inside of the build directory inside of the CSS. Okay. 
So this is done its job. There you go, you've got editor.css. So all we are doing is we are passing the path. So assets, build, CSS, and editor.css. So we'll keep up the so we'll keep the editor related styles over there. Uh, this is to remove the core block patterns. Uh, we can get rid of this for now. We don't need that. This is to set the global content width. Okay. So since we've got this basic stuff done here, all we have to do is just uh, include this file. So I'm going to go back to my functions.php. I'll say require once again. And then I'm just going to remove this. Say .php here. And then I'm going to just instantiate this class, which is advanced WooCommerce theme. So I'll say advanced WooCommerce theme. That's it. Okay. So what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and add the theme support for the basic stuff. So let's go back and go over here and go to customizer. As you can now see that you've got an option to add the logo. Go. All we have to do is use the function called the custom logo. So I'm going to go back over here and then remove this SVG from here. Call the function the custom logo. And you see that you have the option to select the logo. So I'll click on that. I'm going to drag and drop the logo here. Select it. And then just add an option to crop it. Just make sure the entire logo is selected. Crop the image. There you go. You've got a logo here. And then publish it. Go back on the front end. Refresh. There you go. That you've got the logo there. I think we do need some kind of a um, margin right for that. So if you do an inspect element here, you'll notice that this is an image, right? And it is inside of an A tag, correct? So if we go ahead and wrap this inside of that div and then give it a class and then margin right of, let's say, two, would that be? Yep, much better. Okay, I'm not going to go too much into the detail of the stylings. Uh, it'll keep a focus on the development part, but you can see that now it's dynamic. You can add the title, you can add the tagline and the logo as well from the backend. Okay, in the next video, we will continue on the uh, menu part where we'll make these, this menu dynamic. Okay, and we'll continue from there. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And uh, do give star to my repository. My repository name is Advanced WooCommerce Theme. And thanks to uh, all the beautiful people who've already starred my repository. And um, do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is CoryTech. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.